What do you think about uh, like Tesla's dojo efforts, or it can be bigger than Tesla in general. It's kind of like the tense torrent uh, yeah. trying to innovate. Like this is the dichotomy, like should a company try to from scratch build its own neural network training hardware well, first, I think it's great. So we need lots of experiments, right? And there's lots of startups working on this and they're pursuing different things. You know, I, I was there when we started Dojo and it was sort of like, what's the unconstrained computer solution to go do very large training problems? Yeah. And then there's fun stuff like, you know, we said, well, we have this 10,000 watt board to cool. Well, you go talk to guys at SpaceX and they think 10,000 watts is a really small number, not a big number. Yeah. And and there's brilliant people working on it. I'm yeah. curious to see how it'll come out. I I couldn't tell you. You know, I know it pivoted a few times since I left. So, so the the cooling does seem to be a, a big problem. I do like what Elon said about it, which is like we don't want to do the thing unless it's way better than the alternative, whatever the alternative is. So if, it has to be way better than like racks of GPUs. Yeah, right? and then, and the other thing is just like you know. You know the Tesla autonomous driving hardware. It was only serving one software stack, mm -hmm. and the hardware team and the software team were tightly coupled. You know, if you're building a general purpose AI solution, and you, you know there's so many different customers with so many different needs. Now, something Andre said is, I think this is amazing. Ten years ago, like vision, recommendation, uh, language were completely different disciplines. Mm -hmm. He said the people literally couldn't talk to each other, and three years ago. It was all neural networks, but the very different neural networks. Mm -hmm. And recently it's converging on one set of networks. They vary a lot in size, obviously they vary in data, vary in outputs, but the technology has converged a good bit. Yeah, these and, transformers behind GPT-3, it seems like they could be applied to video, they could be applied to a lot of, yeah. and it's like, and they're all really simple. And it was like to literally replace letters with pixels. Yeah, It does vision, it's amazing. So. And then size but, actually improves the thing. So the bigger it gets, the more compute you throw at it, the better it gets. And the more data you have, the better it gets. So so, so then you start to wonder, well, is that a fundamental thing or is, is this just another step to some fundamental understanding about this kind of computation? Which is really interesting. Us humans don't wanna believe that that kind of thing will achieve conceptual understandings, you were saying, like you'll figure out physics, but maybe it will. Maybe. It probably will. <laughs> This. Well, it's, it's worse than that. It'll, it'll understand physics in ways that we can't understand. I liked your Stephen Wolfram talk where he said, you know, there's three generations of physics. There was physics by reasoning. Well, big things should fall faster than small things, right? That's reasoning. Yeah. And then there's physics by equations. Like, you know, but the number of programs in the world that are solved with a single equation is relatively low. Almost all programs have, you know, more than a one line of code, maybe 100 million lines of code. Yeah. So you said that now we're going to physics by equation, which is his project, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I might point out there, there was, there was two, two generations of physics before reasoning, habit. Like all animals, you know, know things fall and, you know, birds fly and, you know, yeah. predators know how to, you know, solve a differential equation to cut off a, uh, accelerating, you know, curving animal path. Yep. And then there was, uh, you know, the gods did it, right? So, yeah. right, so there was, you know, there's five generations. Now, software 2.0 says programming things is not the last step. Data, so yeah. there's gonna be a physics past Stevens, Wolfram's comp. That's not explainable That's not to explainable. us human. And, and actually, there's no reason that I can see while well, that even that's a limit. Like there's something beyond that. I mean, they're usually like usually when you have this hierarchy, it's not like, well, if you have this step and this step and this step, and they're all qualitatively different and conceptually different, it's not obvious why, you know, six is the right hand number of hierarchy steps and not seven or eight or well then it's it's probably impossible for us to to comprehend something that's beyond the thing that's not explainable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the like, thing, but the thing that you know understands the thing that's not explainable to us uh, no. will con conceive the next one, and like I'm not sure why there's a limit to it. Uh, it's like your brain hurts. That's a sad story. 